after the discovery of large number of type 2 restriction endonucleases then scientists propose that uh, there must be uh, some sort of uh, naming mechanism which we can call it as the nomenclature of restriction endonucleases so uh, one of the first proposal was uh, given by smith and nathan in 1973 so now we are going to discuss the key features of this nomenclature of restriction enzymes so one of the uh, first point was that the host organism that produce uh, this restriction enzymes uh, the name can be after the name of that uh, organism for example if the restriction enzyme it is isolated from uh, Escherichia coli so the first word will be from the genus name that is Escherichia so E will be taken from the first name that is the genus name and the next two words of the restriction enzyme will be selected from the specific epithet that is the second name of the species like coli so the CO first two words will be selected from specific epithet so the name will become eco eco means that the restriction enzyme that has been isolated from Escherichia coli in the same way the restriction enzymes that were isolated from Haemophilus influenzae they were called as HIN it means that capital H from the genus name Haemophilus and IN from influenzae first two letter of influenzae then in the second step the name of the strain can also be given now the single species of microbe it may be represented uh, by different type of strains that may be isolated from different ecological sites so the strain ka naam hai usko species name ke baad include kiya jata hai like e coli ka jo strain k hai isko likha jata hai like e co k and in case of Haemophilus influenzae, the strain D, uh, it has been reported to produce different type of restriction enzymes. Now, there may be possibility that strain D, that no call as hint, it may produce more than one type of restriction enzymes. And if this is the situation, to phir hint ke baad, number of restriction enzymes likha jata hai roman numerals mein like 1 2 3 hint 1 hint 2 hint 3 as i told you that type 2 restriction enzymes they may have separate enzymes for restriction and modification so they may also be differentiated ke ye kya ye restriction wala enzyme hai ya ye modification wala enzyme hai to pura naam likhne ke baad like hint 3 to usse pehle likha jata hai agar agar to ye restriction enzyme hai to letter r is added like r dot hint 3 it will indicates that this enzyme it is showing restriction activity and if it is written as m dot hint 3 so it means that this enzyme it is showing methylation activity and playing some sort of role in DNA modification so these are examples of restriction endonucleases nomenclature that how they can be given different type of names so if we take the first example like the SMA1 SMA1 so actually this enzyme was isolated from Serratia marcescens so S is from genus name and ME from specific epithet and it was the first enzyme that was isolated so SMA1 name was given and this is the recognition sequence and it is a six base pair recognition sequence C C triple C G G G and then another example it is the most common one that we are using it is hint 2 
as I told you that it is isolated from Haemophilus influenzae. So H and from the genus and specific epithet and D it is from the strain D and it is a second enzyme that was actually isolated. So the name is Hint2 and from the same strain, strain D, the third enzyme was also isolated. So the name Hint3, 3, 3 it is given here. Then another important enzyme, it is the BAMH1. So it is actually the BAMH1. So the B it is from Bacillus and AM from Amyloleukufacians and the strain it is H and it is the first enzyme that was isolated. So this enzyme is BAMH1 and this is the recognition sequence that was recognized and it is a six base pair sequence like GGATCC. Another example is the recognition sequence that was recognized by HINT2 and it is represented by G, then T, then any purine base can be there, pyrimidine base and then any purine base it is there, then adenine and cytosine. So the enzymes they may have different restriction sites that we are going to discuss in next chapter.